Well, hello everyone and welcome to Rose Hip Campground located at 27 Mile Chena Hot Springs Road right here at the start of the Chena River Recreation Area. Let's go check out this small campground. Now there is spotty 3G cell oh, coverage available in this campground, but any further down the road and that's all the cell coverage. So right as you pull off the highway just past the sign, here's the uh, the pay station for the actual campground and you can actually use this for uh, most locations inside the park. Visa MasterCard is accepted here. And it got shot. <laughs> and it has been shot. And right here by the pay station, there's a restroom and a trash can. All right, now let's go back into the campground and check it out. So as soon as we enter Rose Hip Campground on the right side there, there's the parking for the camp post. Right in the middle is another fee station. And then if we keep going straight down this road, we'll get to the day use area. Now there's a parking lot up here on the left side. There's picnic tables on the right side, a pavilion back there for you to use. And the easy access to the Chena River right down the trail next to the pavilion. All right, everyone, now that we've seen the day use area, let's go around and see where the actual camping spots are and go check out the access to the river. So we're just passing the fee station again. This is a cash only fee station and right into the campground proper. Now odd number campsites are on your left. So coming up here is campsite number one and evens are on your right. So campsite number two right there. All right, we're passing by campsite number three on the left side and it'll be campsite number four coming up on the right. So let's talk about campground amenities. This is kind of a traditional Alaskan campground. We have the river here. We have picnic tables at each campsite. We have fire rings. There is no electricity. Uh, you're not going to find running water at the campsites. So be prepared. You know, this is rural camping. There's a lot of people call it it's dry dock camping. And there's campsite number five on your left. So right in the middle of the campground, you're going to find the access to the uh, Chena River. And so you just walk down this path here, and on the left we have access to launch uh, boats and canoes, small rafts. And we have this great little picnic area here that's right on the Chena River now. You can access this from the day use area. All right, you can see we're in the very back of uh, Rose Hip Campground right now. The Chena River is right behind us, and a small picnic day use area is here. There's a couple of campsites that are also close to the river. You like it, Evie? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty out here, huh? And there's a sign about a blue fish. The blue fish, huh? Yeah. All right, back in the truck. Let's uh, take a look at the rest of the campground now. So there aren't any uh, pull-through camping sites here. As you can see, it's all the sites are back-end sites, but a lot of them are uh, good size and look like they'd be fairly easy to back into. And uh, up around the corner here, there's even a couple double sites where there's two sites right next to each other. So if you got a buddy or something camping with you, you can camp right next to each other. You can see from the drive around here, it's not very crowded. I haven't seen too many people out today. Looks like just one camper. But it is late in the season here in Alaska and it's not exactly a holiday or a weekend. We're here on a weekday to help give you guys the best view of the park. Now one of the really cool things about Alaska, uh, we're here in the Chena River State Recreation Area and this is almost 400 square miles of a state park. And so this is just one developed campground in the park. There is another one. But the awesome thing about Alaska is you don't have to stay in the campground if you don't want to. You can find a gravel bar right next to the Chena River and stay right down next to the river. There's all kinds of little areas where you can find a place inside the state park and you can just camp anywhere you want inside the park. And then the other great thing is uh, once we get done camping here, you can head down to Chena Hot Springs at the very end of the road. It's only about uh, 30 miles from this campground right here. And uh, you can hop right in the hot springs out there, warm yourself back up, and have dinner and drinks right there at the Hot Springs Resort. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great one. We'll see you on the next one.